Hello everyone, my name is uh, Alexander Mathis, and this is my uh, first, you know, uh, gaming video, right? And today, uh, I am playing uh, Bioshock Infinite. Now, one thing about this game is that they, uh, make me a bit loud sometimes and a bit quiet other times, but, uh, one thing about it is how it's it's different, right? It's different. It's different from the uh, you know, the other games, right? From our Bioshock games, and uh, I already played like a bit of it, you know. Like I believe I'm on like the last chapter or something, right? So yeah, that's something. That's something. But uh, this is like the complete edition though, so, you know, you know. So this is kind of like a... I'm pretty sure the last thing that I have to do, right? And I just want to report this, because this isn't going to be like a playthrough or anything. Because the thing is, I just kind of want to get this game... Like, overall, you know? Like, cause like, I don't really enjoy playing this game that much, right? I know, like, I think about it, I feel, cause this game was made, like, in 2013, right? Do you know what was happening in 2013? Do you even know, like, what was released back in, like, do you even know what was like released back then? In freaking 2013. The games, Call of Duty games, were released. 2013, I believe that was like Black Ops, if I'm correct. Modern Warfare 3 released in like 2012. Yeah, yeah so I believe it was like uh, Black Ops that released, right? And Call of Duty kind of ruled the shooter industry, right? And because of this, I feel like I'm the spitball here. Alright, I'm not saying that this is exactly why Bioshock Infinite is the way it is, but, you know. I'm saying that it's most likely like this because of Call of Duty. It's up to like, like now we only have two guns, we not. I mean, we don't have only uh, two guns, but like, we can only hold two guns. Like, there's no more gun wheel, like, like, you can't have like all the guns in the big game, right? I don't know why, but like you can like. I, mean, I guess this is actually kind of useful, you know. I mean, like you still have your like, you know, your wheel. My only. Well, I just don't use the freaking. Like power ups. Yeah, but I don't really use like the power ups that much in this game, anyway, right? Like I, like, I just kind of, like, you know, get the thing I want, go, you know, skaboosh, head out, you know, leave, like, things like that, things like that, I don't know, like, 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 I don't, I don't know, I don't know, it just feels like that they were, like, they're not really that useful as I used them back in, like, Bioshock 2 and 1, right, so, I don't know, I don't know. Like, you can really just be, I mean, this is kind of the same for like, every single Bioshock you need to complete the game without needing anything special, or, you know, you can just use your guns and that's it. But, but like, I don't know. The freaking uh, assaults, the vigors, I forgot what you call them, the power-ups, the vigors. The vigors, yes, yes. The uh, vigors, they kind of helped you out in the game, right? Right? Like they were really what was important. All right? Like yeah, sure you kind of have used them, but like they really did help you out, right? But now for this, like I don't know, it's like it's more leaning towards using the guns than the actual bigger things, you know? I 
I mean, and we also have like, you know, special units, like how what you did, you know, back in the Five Shock One, it was like the Brutus, not Brutus, but you know, the Brutus for uh, Bioshock Two, and the uh, Daddies, the Big Daddies for a uh, Bioshock one, right? And one thing I kind of dislike about this is how they kind of remove the big daddies, right? Right, like there's no more big daddies or anything of that. And now I do understand this, cause, <laughs> but like, I do understand this, cause, this takes place in like 1911. Bioshock 1 and 2 takes place in the 1960s, so I understand that's like five decades in time difference. So of course, like, like all the things, right, from uh, Bioshock 1 and 2 aren't gonna, well, of course, be in here. Yes, I'm aware of that. It just feels like, like, I don't know, like the big daddies were kind of like what made <laughs> But the big days were like, what made, or well, at least, you know, just, but uh, the big days were like, what's made the series, or like, they're at least like the most, you know, like, uh, they're the, you know, the icons, like, uh, let's see, a character from Let's say Modern Warfare, you would say something like Soap or Tavish. Actually, the same people. Uh, Soap, Prex, Ghost, right? Or uh, like Mario. You know, you have Mario, Luigi, you know, those are iconic characters. Uh, Zelda, uh, Link, Garna, you know? And uh, many other shows, cartoons, movies, you know, all that stuff, right? They're. Like, there are iconic characters that are like when you see them you're like oh yeah 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 uh that person is from that game yeah yeah, yeah. but now that they kind of removed like there's no more like we don't have adam last like, like like all these vigors because back in bioshock one or two you know you had adam so you had so like it wasn't like oh yeah your money here right you have your money that you can buy items with, and you have an atom that you can buy, uh, uh, freaking, uh, power-ups, uh, vigors, uh, uh, genetics, genes, you know, all that stuff. They don't, they don't have that. They don't have genes, they don't have an atom, right? Actually, actually, no. I'm pretty sure, yeah, gear. The gear it w is what, or the genes, man, right? So now you're only limited thing, uh, like hats, then vests, then pants, then shoes. Like, like it's a shame that they remove that, right? Cause like the vigors, I mean, like the jean things, like, like I don't know, it kind of added a bit more variety, variety, right? And stuff, right? You know, but now we're only limited to now like four, right? And you still have the vigors here. That's not really anything new. Then, you know, you have the box phones and all that stuff. So, you're not really that bad. They still kept, you know, the little, you know, looking, searching around thing, right? But, like, searching around were like, but searching around. I don't know, cause like, and back, like back in uh, Bioshock 1 and 2, I'm gonna say this, yeah, the Bioshock Infinite look is good, but it feels like there's not really much of like, you know, turn every peak, I mean like, yeah, 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 you have all this beauty, like all this stuff happening, you know, the scenery, you know, you wanna look at it, but it's just, to me, personally, right, how Bioshock 1 and 2, were kind of like, uh, you know, they encourage you to look around, right? 
they wanted you to, um, um, they wanted you to look around, right? Like, look every nook and cranny. Because, you know, you had all the stuff that you could do. You had Adam, you could find Adam. If you find uh, all the girls, then you could, you know, get Adam, you know, get more Adam, buy more perks, all that stuff, right? You know, find more telephones, you know, understand the war a bit. And it's the same with this, but it's just like, me, I don't know, I just don't have that sensitive that I did back when I played Battlefront 1 and 2. Like, I did look every single thing, but they didn't even have a map. That's the thing. Like in Bioshock like 1 and 2, I'm going to keep saying Bioshock 1 and 2, right, they, they had maps, right, they had maps, you know, like, like, you had a map, you know, level 1, level 2, 4, 1, 4, 2, you know, all that stuff, all that stuff, you know, look up and down, up and down, you know, that was kind of like, like, since they don't have a map, you kind of just keep walking and you just have to really understand, like, where you're going, right? You can't just look at your map. I feel like this game is more focusing on the action than like uh, the scenery. Anyway, and, and I get that. I get that. Bioshock One. I'm gonna say this. Bioshock 1 it was kind of like a mix between, like it balanced it, it was equal, right? You had action, but you also had the scenery too, like the scenery told stories, the phones, the, the radios that you could find also told stories. And it's kind of like this, like, like that's something that they uh, all kind of stick around with um, the game, right? All the, all the games, right? They, uh... Uh, Bioshock 1, that was kind of the first game, and I feel like Bio Bioshock 1 kind of, is really what did it, right, like they really did make the, uh, thing, right, like a blend together between looking around, exploration, because they wanted their players to look around, right, you know, so you had, uh, exploration and action in there, right, and in Bioshock 2, it was also, that, that was also another, a beautiful game, too, I'd say that. Uh, it was kind of like Bioshock 1, except, you know, different story, I guess. You know? And, uh, you had new guns, right? Because, uh, you were the big dummy. And they still kept that Adam thing in there. Now, like I said, the game takes place in, like, 1960. Right? 1960. This one takes place in, like, 1911. So, of course, you're not going to have the technology from that time, and you do have to improvise, but like, I don't know, I don't know, like the little sisters and Big Daddy, just kind of what, I don't know, made, like this is kind of what made the game Bob Shock, Bob Shock, but now it feels like, right, like all those little details that you had in Bioshock 1 and Bioshock 2, all these things like, oh hey, look around, uh, get more stuff, get more stuff. Like, it made you want to look around, right? That's what it did. It made you feel like, oh hey, I should try looking around. But like, for this game, I can literally just run here, right? Not use my vigor or anything, you know? Just, like, just running out. Yeah, running again. I don't feel like exploring all of this stuff when I can just run around and gun, you know? So, I feel like that's, and again, I'm referring back to this. This was made in 2013. Uh, popcorn shooters. I'm actually learning this term today. Popcorn shooters are basically games like, you know, Call of Duty, uh, Gears of War, you know, like, they're like, just, uh, shooter games. Kind of like that. Kind of like Call of Duty, kind of like that, right? This was when, uh, they were popping off, you could say, right? So, of course, you know, some, like, like a lot of games did this. Like, some games will have their thing, right? But then they will try to change it, 
to fit in with the trend, and I get that, you know, but that kind of makes it what it makes the game like lose its identity. Because here, if you change the game too much, right, then people are gonna say that it lost its identity. But keep the game the same, then people are gonna find it repetitive. So that's kind of like something that a lot of game franchises did, right? And this is what I feel. Because uh, there are three ways a game, like a game could make a sequel like. First one, keep it the same, the exact same, you know. Just keep everything that people loved in it, and that's it. Two, change a little bit of stuff, right? To try to keep it refreshing, you know. And then the last one is three completely change it, right? I'm gonna say that Bioshock Infinite is in between two and three, right? It still has that things that kind of made Bioshock, Bioshock, but it also has that, you know, 2013 first person shooter type thing, you know? You know? Also, I don't know why I'm saying this, 2013. I was in, like, like, I was in 2013, I was in, I was in school back then, I mean, I was in school, but, you know, but, but I was like, little, you know, like, like, I can't even play a first person shooter back then, you know, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's just something, right, that's just something, you know, so, yeah, yeah, that's kind of my uh, thoughts on this game, and I'll guess I'll, uh, you know, kind of record for a little while, because uh, like I said, like I said, uh, I know that my uh, words are kind of just coming off of it, but yeah, yeah, I mean like, uh, I just don't really feel like doing the things that I would that I would have done like back in the original Bioshocks, you know, like actually look around now. I just I just wanna get this game done over with. Alright. But there is a game that I am hoping to buy, alright. I'm hoping to get about that. And uh, that game is Amori, you know. Have you heard of that game one more? I heard a lot of uh, good things about it, and uh, I was kind of feeling about getting that, but I don't want to get a new game. It didn't have. Oh. Oh. But yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, cause I, I don't, like, I just don't like getting games and, I mean, I mean, that's kind of how I do it, really, right? Like, like, don't try to, like, get a whole, like, a whole bunch of stuff, right? When you haven't even, finished, like, that's like a, you know, getting food when you haven't even finished this, uh, first plate, right? So, yeah, 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 I just don't want to get a game while I have another game incompleted, right? Especially since this was this game was a birthday gift, so you know I'm really obligated to actually uh, get uh, get this game. Yeah. This is uh, where I come from, you know. Savannah, Georgia, truly one of the best places ever. Right. If you've never been to Georgia, you should. You should. You know, like a. got peaches, alright, and yeah, that's, that's, that's actually kind of it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay, it's okay, yeah, still fun, still fun, right, still fun.
No, nothing, nothing really too bad about it. Nothing really too bad about it. I'm not really going to say anything about my own state that I've been living here for a while now. But, you know, that's just like, that's just me. You know, me personally, you know, some people, some people just like being personal. You know? And uh, I'm like that. You know? And like I said, I'm kind of nice. So, uh, the things can't really help you out, you know, it, it actually does take a strategy and stuff. But I guess that I just kind of don't feel like actually, uh, taking in the time to do that. Hmm. So anyway... Yeah, that kind of wraps up my uh, thoughts on this game. Uh, so as a plan and summary, uh, I can see what they were trying to do with game, but it just kind of doesn't really feel like Bioshock. Anyway, from uh, my experience, you know, that put that in there. Always put that in there. You know, always say uh, your experience and such. So, uh, I would say uh, goodbye everyone. Uh, thank you for watching in. You know, uh, recording this is kind of hard when, you know, you don't really have anywhere to uh, record this from, except for your phone. So, uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, I'm Alexander Mathis, channel name Peaceside, and, uh, bye.